All right, we are on hole three of the Festive Cup Tournament. We're in uh, Wednesday's qualifying round, so whatever we get today, that's what we're going to go into the tournament with. <clears throat> hole number three. This is, this is a hole that you have to strive to get eagle on. Um, it is possible, if you can get over to the other side here, to get on in two and be putting for an eagle. But if you don't get down here, you're pretty much, you know, if you're laying up up here, you're laying up and then you're trying to hit down to this area and then you're chipping on. Um, if you can get where the sand's at here, if you draw a line, normally the second landing area is somewhere in this area right here. So if you can... If you can get your ball somewhere up on this side, up in here, you give yourself a really nice where you can actually run that ball in there and you've got lots of green to work with. So the farther up you get, but it is very dangerous to get far up there. You know, I mean, usually you can get about in this area pretty safely, but when you start trying to get further up in there, it's, it, that's a real narrow shoot. So just be careful on that. We're gonna try and, we're gonna try and do a shot to get right here. And so, we did an epic fail. This account does not have a five power ball. So you can see where the first tee is and you can see where this green tree is at right here. <laughs> so the first time I came here, I put my line directly in line with this tree. Um, I did maximum top spin, maximum left hand side spin. And then I did a shot that was maximum overpower, maximum right hand curl. So the ball would go out in this direction. And then once the side spin took effect, to try and throw it straight. And I ended up going straight, but I was short. Um, with When I went at the tree, I ended up out here in the rough. I actually landed way over here. It was too close. So I moved my ball out with the Titan. And this white line that's on here, this snow shelf, I put the white ring right up against it when it wasn't in any overpower position, right up against the red line, white line up against this. Took a full overpower shot, same setup, and I ended up out here, and I was, I was just short. So we tried a five power ball. <laughs> and with the five power ball, we're gonna have a bigger arc. So if you, you know, you come in this area and you've got a three power ball, you got a five power ball, the five power ball hits farther. So that means the arc is going to be a little different. So I moved it out about two rings. And what I did with the five power ball was in its resting position, I put the white ring up against the, so we moved out. We were here, we were like right in here with our white ring where it touched it. And, and with the five power ball, we were up here. So and moving it just that little distance, we clipped that tree <laughs> and ended up right there. That is that is an epic fail uh, because from there it was I couldn't make it I couldn't make it all the way over to this area. I tried, <laughs> but I couldn't. It was just a little short. So the five power ball may or may not work but i only have one five power ball in this account so i can't try that shot again and see if i can move it over a little and miss that tree so we're going to go right back at it with a three power ball and we're going to do the same thing we're going to come into this area we're going to rest our white line up against that snow bank if we've got headwind if we've got wind that's moving in this direction that's moving in the same direction as our ball we're not going to take any of it out if we've got side wind um, we're going to take the side wind out so that we're not, our ball's not getting pushed. We don't want our ball to end up further over this way or closer over this way. We want our ball to end up right where it was before. All right, let's go take a look at our bag. If we make that shot and you actually get over, we're absolutely, positively, no doubt about it, gonna have to have a big dog. Now, if you're an upper level if you're playing in Ricky and you're playing in the Masters brackets and you've got super developed clubs, you're going to use a Cataclysm. And I'm not sure my Cataclysm is not very well developed. It's the same distance, a little better ball guide, same curl. Actually, right now, other than the top spin, it's a pretty equal club. 
but we need everything we can get, so we're going to bring that. That'll get me out of a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be getting down into my hornet range, but if I do, I'm going to bring my thorn. I'm going to plan for the best, but I want to bring some clubs if I do have to recover. You know, if I can get down in that area, I feel I can get this done with a hornet. And we're going to bring a Titan with us. All right. That's what we're taking. Let's go see if we can uh, make this hook shot happen. Really, and Ricky, if you're playing <clears throat> and you miss this shot and you end up there in the top in the rough or in the top in the sand or in the in between in the in the rough, it's still you're still going to end up in the same second spot that you would if you laid up at the top. The only fear here is, is that you mess up really early like I did hitting that tree, that green tree right there. <laughs> Let's see if our opponent, so we've got, we've got a good wind. The wind's going in our direction. If we get the same kind of wind that our opponent's getting, we're going to like that. They went just a little too far, but that'll be all right. They're, they still have a shot there to get up and get on. Okay, so we're in this spot right here. So we're going to do this right here. And then we're going to bring it out here. We're right up against that line. So we're right up against that snow bank. Try it. We just barely missed that tree from there. Too much to the right. If we'd have been on line on track, we would have been a little closer to the fairway, but we were still well, well short, even if we'd have been on line. But I am going to keep going for that shot on this account in the hopes that, you know, either on the opening round to help pick up a spot, get a better tiebreaker, or in the weekend round to try and go for the win, that... I can hit that shot because if you could pick up a, an eagle on this hole, that would be huge. I'm going to use that little bit of wind and let it push me. And we just need to hit perfect. So we're in the same second spot. You know, that we would have been if we'd have laid up there at the top because this is pretty much where you're trying to get to. So, when that risk versus reward on some of these holes, this is, uh, this might be one of the ones that you can mark on there that you're going to try and pick up that extra shot, whatever it takes. You have a much better shot of just going straight at it with a max overpower if you had a five power ball. You don't even need to do the hook. Especially if you had one of those ones that's no wind. Okay, so there's max. I'm right at max club. Two, two. It's two five. Let's see if it breaks down that hill. Oh, that was way anticipating. That was a horrible shot. Horrible. 
That was for the eagle. And I flubbed it. That's the deal. I, you know, I'm going to have to focus more because even if you don't make the shot that you were originally making, you still have an eagle shot. So I lost my concentration on that. Wasn't really wasn't really thinking of it as the eagle until after I messed it up. All right. That was not the results that we're looking for on that hole. We've got to get an eagle on that hole at least once this week. All right, that was hole number three of the Festive Cup in the Ricky qualifying round. Thanks for watching.